Creating a completely custom, from scratch font effect may sound like a daunting task, but it is much less complicated than it might seem. And the task becomes even more simplified when you put some high quality resources to use. Resources that you can then customize and alter so you still end up with something that is unique to you and your project. Today, we'll be taking a look at how to create a Japanese brush font text effect in Adobe Photoshop. So uh, let's start by creating a paintbrush stroke Photoshop brush. Important image of painted brush strokes. Ideally, you want them to be longer with tapered and textured edges. Turn the image black and white by going to Image Adjustments Desaturate. And then go ahead and darken those strokes by going to Image Adjustments Brightness Contrast and bringing up the contrast to 100 and then bringing down the brightness to negative 150. Repeat this step until your paint strokes are a nice solid black. Select your paint strokes by going to Select Color Range and then clicking on the black paint. Bring the fuzziness all the way up to 200 and then hit OK. Create a color fill layer set to black. The color fill layer will automatically take the shape of the selection through its layer mask, which is handy because now we can edit our color fill mask to refine the brush stroke however we want. You can even hand paint some added stroke and paint splatter details yourself. However, I'm just going to keep it simple and go ahead and smooth out the edges of the paint stroke by double clicking and choosing select and mask. I'm going to go ahead and set the smooth to 9, the contrast to 24%, and the shift edge to negative 30%. Your settings may vary, but we don't want to lose too much of that streaky brush texture, so be mindful of that. Finally, crop down your paintbrush stroke and go to edit define brush preset. Name your brush and you are done. You'll want to make as many brush strokes as possible, but alternatively, you can also download a set of pre-made brush strokes that come on a transparent background or a pre-made brush pack that is all ready to go. Whatever works best for you and your project. We can now move on to creating our Japanese inspired text effect. The first step is optional. Choose a font that is similar in the structure to the structure you want your text to have. In this case, the Japanese brush font Little Samurai. Type out your word or phrase. We can use this as somewhat of a template when we are placing down our brush strokes. Next, you'll want to prepare all your resources. Create or import your brush stroke brushes or have your brush stroke images with a transparent background and a folder nearby so you can drop or paint them as needed. I'll be using these brush stroke PNGs found on EnvitalElements.com. Now it's just a matter of combining different brush strokes to make different letters. Let's start with an easy one, M. Drag and drop your strokes to match up with the three lines that make up the lower part of the M using our text as a guide. Make sure and use different strokes for each line. You want to try and avoid patterns and repetition. Then go ahead and place a fourth line going through the upper portion of the other three lines. And there you have an M. I suggest grouping all of these strokes into their own group, naming the group the letter they create. Trust me, this will help you out later on when you have a million layers full of paintbrush strokes that seemingly all look the same. You can use the paintbrush and eraser tool to add or take away detail from each line to add further fine tuning and variation. Also remember to flip the lines vertically and horizontally and to adjust both their height and width to avoid the look of, again, repetition and to get things to fit just right. You can use the warp transform mode to create and match curves and again to fit the strokes to match the template text as much as possible or as much as you need it to. Do these steps over and over until all of your letters are created. You might be wondering, well, how do I change the color of the text? Go ahead and change the color of the text by adding a color fill layer and clipping it into your master group, the group holding all of your letters. 
You can also go ahead and fill in any sparse spots quickly and easily by creating a new layer below all of your text layers and painting using a solid white brush. This will help your paint strokes look fuller, if that is indeed the look you are going for. And that's about it. You can whip up these painted letters in a matter of minutes. And if you find yourself reaching for this kind of text effect fairly often, go ahead and create the whole alphabet. Save it in a PSD file and you have officially created your very own pre-made. So if you like this video and would like to see even more, go ahead and hit that like button. Subscribe if you aren't already. And don't forget to click the little bell icon to be notified of any and all new inspiring videos. And if you are looking to learn even more, why not check out some of the other excellent tutorials that Envato Touch Plus has to offer. I'm Abby Esparza, see you next time.